Hi there, my name's Graeme Laurie. I am the Partnerships Director for ACS International Schools and I just wanted to share a little project we're working on um, during these difficult times during the COVID-19 um, outbreak. We were approached by Wrexham Mallow Hospital um, with a request to make some 3D printed parts to make up some respirator units. Now the website that they gave us provided us with um, two parts um, that fitted a specific type of mask from Decathlon. Now the issue is that the Decathlon masks are being used in various countries in Madrid and France and, and you know various other countries um, and of course they're all out of stock. We found these masks on Amazon, they go for about £20. Um, the issue we found was that the parts that were um, drawn up and released on the website don't fit this specific type of mask. And so we spent a couple of days making an adapter for this so that the parts that were originally developed fit nicely and snugly onto this mask. The next step is to send these off to the hospital. We have um, various consultants and the clinical lead in the ICU that are going to evaluate them and test them. And then it'll go through the medical ethics committee to see whether we can actually use them on patients. Um, but we've got the first batch ready to go off. Um, I thought I'd show you how we make them up and what they look like. And anybody else out there can do the same thing um, if they have the capacity to do so. And here are the three pieces. So you've got a, a standard pipe. Uh, with O-rings. Uh, this pipe goes onto the main unit. Nice and snug fit there. There's a little clip on the top here so that when we take the adapter with this little tab on the front here, that slides inside there and clips in nicely there. And then that fixes onto the mask itself. So if we take the mask, move that straight back more and slide that on there, you can see that that tab clicks into place there as well. So you end up with a full face mask with the adapter on top. So we've made these 3D printed parts on our home machines for now. Um, our schools have also been making them in the design and technology departments, but we have an army of makers out there ready and waiting to manufacture these parts once they gain approval. Um, the parts take around five to five and a half hours to manufacture one unit, um, which isn't too bad. If you want to get involved in creating parts for these masks, then please do leave a comment below and I'll get in touch. Thanks for watching.